So you got a GameCube ISO that you want to burn. Um, this doesn't have to do any sort of piracy or anything. This is, uh, I did the GCOS SD loader so I could um, get an SD card adapter for my memory um, stick for the GameCube and pop it in and read stuff to um, off the SD card uh, to my GameCube um, for running just various whatever. Um, now this is a lot easier than say the Dreamcast, which Dreamcast used um, what was it uh, CDI for disc juggler images and NRG for Nero, and you could convert back and forth. It didn't always work that well. We had two major formats for them. This is just ISO. GameCube's actually pretty easy. So what I use is Image Burn. Um, I never really have any problems um, doing this method. Put an image burn in Google. Um, the official site has a bunch of junk you gotta go through. I always get a soft PDF for most things, and they seem to be pretty up to date. And I'll go down and download. That's the one that I got. And just go through the install. Pretty normal install. Um, bring up. What is it? Image burn. It'll take a sec to boot up. Alright, write image file to disk. And this is the, uh, the SD loader. Um, you just, well, what do you want to do? Um, tools, settings, this you want to make sure to do. You don't have to really mess with hardly anything. Just on the right, enable burn proof. And I couldn't explain why you need to do that, but I've tried it without doing that, and everything almost always fails. Um, so uncheck that, make sure enable burn proof is unchecked. Everything else you can just go ahead and leave alone. Um, okay. And then you drag and drop there. Um, the write speed, you want three or two. Um, it's, for best uh, best results, it's best to use like um, an internal uh, drive, like IDE or SATA or whatever. I'm, um, I'm, I used a um, USB one for a little while, and that one, it was kind of hit or miss. It didn't always work the best, but it, it worked okay. But you're going to get a lot of coasters doing that. So I'd recommend if you have a computer that doesn't have um, a disk drive, in it and you have access to one that does definitely go with the one that does um that you get much better results you don't need to verify or test mode any of that mess just drag and drop and then once you put a disc in this will pop up and just hit burn and if uh if it's incompatible with three like minus uh it'll go down to two it'll go down to the next lowest one and then uh, you just when it's done you can pop it out and slap it in your gamecube now once you've got that burned so you did the, uh, the SD loader, and it's not going <clears> to <throat> pop up with anything to see on the SD card because I don't have one right now. I ordered one on Amazon. should be here about a week. I'll do a video when that arrives. Pop this thing in. Get my wave bird. Now you're going to need a uh, chip or some sort of way to boot this if you have Swiss or a number of things. There, there's a bunch of different ways to do it. But you go <clears throat> uh, direct disk boot. Looks like it's in PAL there for a sec. It's all black and white. But it does pop up in color. See, and had I anything to show, it would it'd have a list of stuff. So that's that's how you go about uh, uh, burning images you find online. Um, there's some homebrew stuff out there. This is probably the most most useful, I would think. So you can load DOLs from, from the memory card. But again, I, I don't have that adapter yet. So when I do, I'll make another video about that. Thanks.